Hello, in this session I will talk about joints versus subqueries. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. I'm connected to SAP HANA Studio, so I have four tables created in previous sessions. Course table contains data for courses, student table contains data for students, team table contains data for teams, and student underscore course table is a many-to-many -many relationship table containing information on which student is taking which course. So the question on the table was, show us the first names of all those students who are taking any course. This question could be addressed using either subquery that you can see at the top. There's a subquery method using the in clause here, and you have two select statements. Or this question could be addressed using join, and you can see the join example at the bottom. So both the SQL, the top and bottom one, giving us the same result. Keep in mind that subqueries are easier to write as compared to joins. You can break a complex question into pieces and you can write a separate select statement for each piece and you can combine all, all of them together using the in keyword. So it's pretty logical to design a subquery. Join on the other hand could be complex for the beginners but once you are used to write, writing joins it's uh, it's not that difficult and becomes your second nature but as you can see in join the logic is totally different than what you see in the subquery and here you have to put all the table names in the from clause and this results into a Cartesian product and then you put a where condition that limits the rows that will be filtered out as a final output and in the select list you only put those column names that you want to see and this is an inner join which is simpler outer join gets um, more complex as uh, the number of tables start increasing also I've pointed out join are very fast in terms of performance as compared to the subqueries in subqueries the database has to retrieve the result for the innermost query first and then the outer query runs and then yet if you have more outer queries those will run so it, it goes in stages while in join the whole query is executed at once so this is in very simple language each database engine has different methods of executing uh, subqueries as well as joins but in generally speaking joins are faster compared to subquery. So try writing join whenever possible, especially if you have a large amount of data involved in the tables. There are scenarios where only join is an answer and subquery will not work. For example, right now the question on the table is, give me the first names of those students who are taking any course. For this you can write either a subquery or the join. If I change this question to the following, then subquery is not sufficient. For example, give me the list of first names of students as well as the course IDs of the courses that they're taking. So in column 1 I want to see first names and in column 2 I want to see the course IDs that they're taking. I'm saying course IDs for a reason. I don't want to make too complex. I could have said courses but even then the subquery will not work. So I want to see first names and course IDs. So how would you make changes to the join to address this question? So if I add another column here in the join b.courseID because the course ID column resides in the table b which is student underscore course and this will give me my result. I will see the first names and then course IDs. Keep in mind that IDs are not something to be shown to the business. These are for internal linking purpose only, especially to be used in joins and other uh, processings. So, but for this example, just imagine that that's what we want to see, the first names and course IDs, okay? So, here is the result and that's what we wanted. But now, let's go back to the subquery. How will you attempt to modify this to achieve the same result? So, whatever columns I need to select, I have to add them in the column list of this outer SQL okay and in the inner SQL I cannot do any modification because if I add here in the inner SQL that I want to select student ID comma course ID then 
you will have an issue because this in clause is putting in whatever output the inner statement is generating into this ID column and the number of columns specified in this where has to exactly match with the number of columns selected by the inner select. So in the where clause at the top we have one column so we have to have only one column here. So this will not work. This will result into a very basic syntax error that you can see here in this red color. So this is not an option. I'm going to remove the course ID from here. Can I put course ID at the top? No, because course ID does not belong to the student table. Course ID belongs to the student underscore course table, not student table. So the basic limitation of a subquery method is that all the columns that you want to see should belong to only one table and that's the table you will use in the outermost SQL of this subquery method. So if some columns belong to table A and the rest columns that you want to see in the final output belongs to table B, then subquery is not an answer. You need to go to join so that you can select some columns from table A and some from table B and show them all together in the final output. So this is a limitation of subquery and in these scenarios only join will work.